curl of R unit vector by R square is equal to zero proof. Let's suppose R is a vector and is equal to x minus x prime x unit vector plus y minus y prime y unit vector plus z minus z prime into z unit vector. The magnitude of this vector is r is equal to x minus x prime square plus y minus y prime square plus z minus z prime square whole under the root. This is also equal to x minus x prime square plus y minus y prime square plus z minus z prime square whole key power 1 over 2. Now according to the definition of unit vector, the unit vector is equal to r vector divided by magnitude of r. Let's substitute the value for r unit vector in this equation. We will have del cos r unit vector by r square is equal to del curl of r unit vector divided by r cube. As r unit vector is equal to r vector divided by r multiply by 1 over r so we will get this result where the del is an operator n is equal to curl u by curl of x plus curl u by curl of y curl u curl u of z and unit vector z now we take the curl of this term taking the curl of this term this will become curl u by curl u of x into x plus curl u by curl u of y into y plus curl u by curl u of z into z curl of r vector divided by r cube now again substituting the values for r vector and r magnitude we will get x minus x curly by curly of x plus curly by curly of y plus curly by curly of z curl of okay substituting the value for r we will have x minus x prime into x plus y minus y prime into y plus z minus z prime into z divided by x minus x prime square plus y minus y prime square plus z minus z prime square whole key power 3 divided by 2 now Let's suppose I suppose this term is equal to A. Now we can write this equation as y curly of x plus curly y curly of y plus curly y curly of z into x minus x prime into x unit vector y did by a to power 3 by 2 plus y minus y prime into y unit vector divided by a to power 3 by 2 plus z minus z prime unit vector divided by a to power 3 by 2 now applying the curl let's take the cross product of this del with this vector 
by taking the cross product of this we can write it as x y z using the determinant method curly y curly of x y curly of y curly y curly of z now putting the value for magnitude of x which is x minus x prime divided by a k power 3 by 2 into x similarly we can also write this term as a k power minus 3 by 2 into y minus y prime and for z we can write it as a k power minus 3 by 2 into z minus z prime now let's solve this determinant for x y and z okay let's solve this for x this will becomes x now let's solve this for x y and z for x we will use this by curly by curly of y into a k power minus 3 by 2 into z minus z prime minus curly by curly of z into a k power minus 3 by 2 into y minus y prime okay now this is one term and this is the second term here we will use the product rule which is b into da by dx plus a into db by dx so we will take the partial differential of this equation let's solve this one first similarly for y and for z okay solve this one you will have solving this one we will get minus 3 by 2 a k power minus 3 by 2 minus 1 okay now taking the differential of this term a which a is equal to x minus x prime whole square y minus y prime whole square z minus z prime whole square taking the differential of this x minus x prime whole square we will get zero because the differential is curly by curly of y when we in, uh, differentiate this with respect to y we will get zero by differentiating this term we will get 2 into y minus y prime and then again this we will get only one and this term will also become zero and we will write again z minus z prime which is the second term similarly minus taking the differential of this term with respect to z we will get minus 3 by 2 a k power minus 3 by 2 minus 1 taking the differential of this a here this term will become 0 this will become 0 or we will only get 2 into z minus z prime and write this y minus y prime now taking the differential with of the second term this second term will be 0 so we don't need to take the second differential similarly in this case we don't need to take the second differential because this is y minus y prime and this will become 0 by multiplying this with 
uh, uh, power minus 3 y to this term will become 0. So now here we have this equation. In this equation, this 2 will cancel out with this 2, this 2 will cancel with this 2, this minus into minus will become plus and with it become plus this whole term will cancel out with this whole term and we will get x into 0. Similarly, we will get 0 y plus 0 z for y and z component and finally we will have del cross r divided by r square is equal to 0 or the curl of r divided by r square is equal to 0 thank you Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe EasyEDU for more videos.